when you're going through hell and everything is going against you, the easiest thing in the world to do is to start thinking negative. The impulse to dream has been slowly beaten out of me through the experience of life. And that's what causes many of us to give up the experiences and the challenges, the defeats, the disappointments and the failures of life. It's a natural inclination for us to put ourselves down. See, we are born negative, I think, in a negative consciousness because we live in a negative world. This world will try and beat you down. So you've got to begin to guard your mind against negative programming. Like turn off the television. Don't watch the news. If you look at the news, you cannot feel good looking at the news. It turns your power down. You've got to be conscious of that. Just try this. Just experiment with yourself. But start filtering the stuff you allow to come in your mind. So you've got to guard the kinds of things that you put in your mind. See, if you don't program your mind, your mind will be programmed because human beings are goal-oriented. Every time you hear that voice in your head telling you, we can't do this. This is too hard. This is too painful. This isn't worth it. You got to tell it to shut up. That voice is a liar. Don't allow that negative voice to overpower you. You block that out. It doesn't take any energy, any drive to stay down there on a low level, but it takes everything in you to pull yourself up, to tell yourself this is temporary. I can get through this. I'm better than this. I'm bolder than this. I'm stronger than this. This will not break me. When you know that whatever you're seeking, it's also seeking you. You don't worry. You don't run scared. You don't think somebody's going to take it from you. You listen to your inner voice and you always take the high road. There will be the tendency, the natural inclination to take the low road. You must resist that. Now is the time to take control. You focus on your strengths. You focus on your abilities unquestionably. Trust yourself. Take the leap of faith and believe that everything's going to be all right. Anybody can hate. Anybody can be revengeful. Some people rather get revenge than get ahead in life. Anybody can do that. Anybody can hold a grudge. Doesn't take any greatness on that. Don't need any motivation and encouragement to hold a grudge. Have some resentment in your heart and some bitterness. But the real challenge about growth and moving into your greatness is to continue to be positive when hard times and obstacles run up against you and not allow that default negative mind to take over. So you got to learn to stand up to yourself inside yourself and short circuit override that conversation that's always going on. 85% of what that conversation will tell you is negative. It's negative. It will tell you you're tired when you really are not tired. It will tell you you can't do it. It will fill you with fear. So you've got to watch that conversation. And when you find it going on, you've got to stand up to it and say, I'm going to do this anyhow. I'm afraid, but I'm afraid not to do it. And I'm not going to let you stop me. Turn off things that can contribute to your fear. Turn a deaf ear to people that all they can do is talk about how negative things are because they have bought into the consciousness of the world. Start attending workshops, seminars, listening to tapes on a daily basis to begin to recondition your mind, to retrain your thinking. Faith comes by hearing and hearing and hearing. Listen to things that can empower you, that can enable you to create a new reality for yourself and a new life for yourself. You might appear to be strange around most people. People are going to think you're crazy. But that's okay. You're not trying to be like them. You're cut from a different cloth. You deserve to be a winner. And winners don't think about losses. They don't focus on what could happen. They concentrate on the possibilities of winning. The biggest challenge that you will have in life is you. Is there's no enemy within. The enemy outside can do us no harm.